what's up youtube welcome and welcome back to this is jada i'm jada and in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys the answers to your questions that you asked me on instagram and snapchat i'm going to be answering all of those questions and while doing it i'm going to be showing you guys how i beat this face honey so if you would like to see me do this makeup look and answer your questions keep watching the video Okay, guys, let's get started. First, I'm going to do my eyebrows off of camera, and then I'm going to come back on because I tend to take a little over a long time to do my eyebrows. So, I'm going to do those off camera, and then I'll get started with the questions. Okay, I'm done with my eyebrows, as you can see. Now, we're about to do my makeup, and we're about to get into these questions from my Instagram Q&A poll that I had a couple of weeks ago. Listen, y'all, it took me a long time to record this video. Like, I've been, I've been like, rec I recorded it, then I didn't like it, and then I recorded it again, and I, it's been a mess. So now, I'm about to record it, and I promise you, this video, I'm gonna upload it, because I'm not recording this no more. I recorded it too many times. So, how do you like living overseas? Um, I feel like living overseas has its pros and cons. I wouldn't necessarily say that I like to live overseas, and I won't necessarily say that I, do, that I don't like to live overseas. I feel like living overseas definitely is different than the state in a lot of different ways. I feel like if I had to choose to live over here for the rest of my life or live over in the United States, I would definitely choose America. Overseas is fun to like experience, you know what I'm saying? But not to like live here, you know, for the rest of your life type stuff. You know what I'm saying? I would love to visit here and like, because it's another country, you know what I'm saying? It's cool to be like, I visited another country, I lived in another country, but not live here. Like, you can experience it. You can, you know, um, experience another country and all of this stuff. But as far as making this my home, forever home, hell no. I wouldn't. I'm a family girl, and I like to be around family and I, friends, and I like to do stuff with my family and friends, so... Living overseas would not work with the type of lifestyle that I want to live, if that makes sense. So, to answer your question, I don't really like living overseas. <laughs> Next question is, what's your workout routine? Okay, so my current workout routine is... I do workout routines with Chloe Ting on YouTube. Chloe Ting is this YouTuber and I have to try my foundation because sometimes some of my foundations look orange on the screen on the camera and I did not want to do that and I tried it on so now I'm going to color correct first before I put the rest of my foundation on. Chloe Ting She's a YouTuber, and she has a website, www.chloeting.com, and I will link that down in the description below. She creates workout programs to target whatever part of your body you want to work on. So, if you want to work on your glutes, she has a program for that. If you want to work on your abs or just full body, she has a program for that. She has a program for everything. Like, so right now, you go on her website... And you pick which program you want to do. Right now, I'm doing the Get Pitchy workout program. And it works on your glutes. And it works on your arms. And it works on your abs. Those are the main areas that I want to work on on my body. So, that's the workout routine that I want to do. That I chose to do. And it's absolutely 100% free. She gives you the workouts to do. And she gives you a meal guide to go by. And you know what's the great thing about it? It's a free website. So she's not paying you to use her website and 
on the website it gives you know you know how when you doing a workout um program and then they give you what to do each day on her day she'll give you on on each day she'll give you like one to to three maybe four one because i've done four workouts and one four videos in one day before she'll give you one to four workout videos to complete and her workout videos are on youtube so she's getting her money through the youtube views and i'm telling you she has millions of YouTube views her workout programs are great they get you right okay they get you tired and i feel, really feel like it gets the job done when it comes to working out and making your body better i'll make sure to link her website down below next question differences living in another country um there's a couple of differences living in another country one difference is the time difference we are like nine hours ahead of the united states so the time difference is a bit much like when i'm going to work my friend's going to sleep and when i'm going to sleep my friend's getting up for work type of thing you know so it's hard when you sometimes it can be hard i won't say hard all the time but sometimes it can be hard when you want to talk to your friends and your family because by the time they up and ready to go honey you tired and you gotta lay down and go to work in the morning so that's definitely a difference the time difference is definitely a good difference another difference is the money their money is in dinar here so one bd is like three american dollars almost three american dollars so if you go into the store and you see one b don't think for a second it means one u.s dollar because baby yo bank account will show you not to play with them okay make sure you're paying attention and if you come over here to live or you coming over here to visit that you have a currency converter on your phone because honey they will not play when taking their money out it's not going to come out one vdd is not going to come out one dollar on your bank account it's definitely going to come out almost three dollars if not three dollars because they charge that so they charge the conversion price the converted price and some little bit of tax even though it's supposed to be tax free over here they got something called that and it's pretty much like taxes so make sure you got a um you got a converter on your phone another um difference is you cannot throw the middle finger up to the people that live here. Like, if you're out in public and you want to throw a middle finger up to your friend, I mean, it's not suggested to do it, but you won't get in trouble. But if you throw the middle finger up to a local, they can sue you and you can go to jail. So, make sure you do not be throwing up no middle fingers at these people because they do not play about that around here. If you ever come over here, baby, just hold your middle finger down don't don't throw it up to nobody don't even throw it up to your friends because then you somebody might feel like you throwing it up to them and then boom you in jail you know what i'm saying so don't throw up the middle finger what age did you lose your virginity i lost my virginity at the age of 17 to a man who shall remain nameless because you in my business don't do that excuse me you in my business yeah don't do that if you could change anything in the world, what would it be? If I had the ability to change one thing in the world, it would be judgmental people. Like the ability for someone to judge one another. Because I feel like there are so many judgmental people in this world. Like people judge people and over anything like little shit like especially celebrities i feel like people are so hard on celebrities and i don't know why because i feel like celebrities are human just like us so what makes you think your friend baby daddy can cheat on her and dog her out and do her like a dog and beat the shit out of her but this celebrity baby daddy can't 
Like, um, how? Like, you ain't got nothing to say about them, but you got something to say about them. And they're just everyday humans, just like us. So, it, it, be, it be like, it be frustrating me when I see freaking people, like normal, regular people going, I won't say normal, I'll say regular because everybody's normal. Um, regular people going on the shade room or celebrities Instagrams and shading the fuck out of them about something that they have done or something that they said or something that, that, that has been, you know, a rumor about them or something like how you going to, ain't that the same thing? Like just because their lives are in the limelight, don't give anybody the room to, you know, judge them or talk about them because most celebrities are like us in their twenties or in their, in, in their, um, 30s they're still young they figuring life out just like us they're just so happy to be in the 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 fame the fame they they should so happen to have fame you know what i'm saying so i feel like people shouldn't judge people like are so hard on celebrities and they want celebrities to be so perfect and they're not they're just like us baby they're just like us i don't get it like you judging somebody for being for for their business being out public when like you do the same shit privately you know what i'm saying like how does that fucking work like chill sis chill so if i could change anything in the world it would definitely be people having the right and audacity and motherfucking nerve to judge the next bitch because every you can't judge nobody you can't talk about no fucking body so that would be something that i would change why are you so confident? That's a good question because I was not always confident. Like when I was in middle school, people used to pick on me for being tall and you know, because tall is just not normal when you're young. You know what I'm saying? Who wants to be the tall girl when you're young? You outside playing with your friends and here come tally wally. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I wasn't always confident. Confidence definitely came with age and growth and, you know, stuff like that. So, it definitely came with confidence. I did not used to like my height. I hated being tall because 5'10 is tall for a girl. You know what I'm saying? It's not that tall for a boy, but it's definitely tall for a girl. So... People would just be like, oh, my God, you're so tall, blah, 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 blah. And I just didn't get it. You know, when you're young, you don't get stuff like that. Like, why am I so tall? Like, I'm taller than my mama. I'm taller than my daddy. Like, why the hell am I so tall? So, it definitely came with age and growth and, you know, becoming the woman that I am today. It came with, you know, it came with, it came with age. Now you can't tell a bitch shit. I'm making a stallion. I'm making a stallion 2.0. Jay the stallion. Don't play with me. Okay. I got a little shape on me. My baby spread my hips out because I didn't used to have hips for my baby. My baby spread my hips out. Like, you can't tell me nothing. Tall is and your fucking point, bitch. <laughs> Don't play with me. <laughs> Don't play with me. So, confidence definitely came with age. Best gift you've ever received. The best gift I've ever received was my first car. My husband brought, bought me my first car on our first, our one year anniversary. And that was the best gift I've ever received. Like, literally, like. He bought me a whole freaking car, y'all. And I was so happy. It was a, it was a, I don't know the year. It was a Toyota Corolla and it was red and honey. I thought I was on when I had that car. You feel me? I thought I was on. I used to keep it clean real good when I first had it. But you know, I ain't get, keep it clean after that. I got little cute decorative stuff for my car you know little fluffy windshield and all the shit dig i used to go to the store just because i had a car honey like baby you can't tell me nothing 
That was the best gift I ever received. What are your goals in 2021? Okay, I got two main goals. Two of my main goals. One is to save $20,000. And another one is to set, is to gain 10,000 YouTube subscribers. I just feel like saving $20,000 would be a good accomplish a good accomplishment for me. So, that's why that's one of my goals. And 10,000 subscribers, I really want to become big on youtube like i really want to be a youtuber i can see myself doing it i'm a good i could be a good influencer i like buying stuff and and buying stuff just because so if you give me free stuff i'm promote the hell out of it if i when i buy stuff i promote the hell out of it so just imagine when you give me free stuff and i think i feel like i'm a good influencer and i feel like i'm a good marketing person and i can sell anything and also i like to take pictures i like to record myself i like to record the people around me so i feel like the recording aspect of being a youtuber is easy and it's been easy for me i just gotta be consistent and you know and just you know keep posting videos and stuff like that and i'll be big one day mark my word when I become, when I get ten thousand YouTube subscribers, come back to this video, and I'm gonna say I told y'all so. What do you want to be in the future? Like, do we really know what we want to be in the future at this age? I feel like I have went back and forth with what I want to be in life with myself so many times, y'all. Like, so many times I've been back and forth in my head for what I want to be in life, and. I've been wanting to be a nurse. I wanted to be a teacher. I wanted to be uh, so many things, y'all. Like, so many things. And I honestly have no fucking clue what I want to be. But right now, in my heart, I want to be a guidance counselor for a high school. Like, I feel like I'm really good with kids, older kids. They seem, they, they tend to cling towards me and think that I'm cool and funny and they they they're comfortable around me. I think that I would excel in being a guidance counselor. I think that the kids would have no problems coming to talk to me when they have a problem and they'll trust in me and you know, will vent to me about their problems. So, I feel like that would be a good job for me. I feel like I would get up and enjoy that job. You know how they say you're supposed to love what you do and stuff like that. I feel like I genuinely love that job. I feel like I would genuinely love going to work and talking to the kids and helping the kids with their problems and all that stuff. So, right now, I want to be a goddess counselor. Next week, it might change. So, <laughs> yeah. When have you felt the most proud? Now, I don't want. I don't mean to sound cliche or like basic or whatever you want to make call it but i feel like i felt the most proud when giving birth to my daughter like that is the most it is the most awesome feeling in the world giving birth to someone like you literally women are so wonderful like you literally grow a human inside of you like you grow a, a person with, with arms, with legs, with feet, with toes, with lungs, with a heart, with bones, with everything. You grow this person, a human, inside of you. You know what I'm saying? So, I feel like that's my most proudest moment because it's just awesome what a woman can do. It's just awesome what a woman's body can do and what a woman's body can produce you. So, I feel like when I had my daughter, I was, like, so proud. I was shocked. I was, like, in shock for the longest. And I feel like it was, like, the best day of my life, literally. The best day of my life. Biggest pet peeve. My biggest pet peeve, like, something that you would do to piss me completely off is spit on the ground. Like, why would you spit? On this concrete. Why? Why would you spit on the concrete? You got all this grass around you. You got trash cans. Like, 
spit in the trash can or in the grass. Because, like, when you spit on the concrete, you can see a fucking wall of spit on the concrete. If this, when you spit on the grass, it eventually dissolves in the fucking grass. I would hope so. But it just disgusts me seeing spit on a concrete ground. Like, it's nasty. It's so nasty. My husband stopped spitting on the concrete around me because I used to get so mad because it's just, like, the nastiest thing to me. Like, it's so nasty, you guys. I hate when people spit on the ground. If you're around me, please don't spit on the ground. I'll be so mad. Do not spit on the ground. That's my biggest pet peeve. That's something that will make me so mad. Literally. What's your biggest fear? My biggest fear is water. Y'all, I am so scared of water. Like, my friends this weekend talked me into going on a little donut boat. Well, a little donut ride. Like, you know, like a big donut tube. They had me going on it. And I'm, like, so surprised that I went on it. Like... I'm so scared of water. Like, my friends invited me on jet skis so many times. Like, I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm not doing it. What if I fall off that fucking jet ski? Like, like I'm just so scared of water. Like, what's the hardest part about having a kid, y'all? Um, I would just say to know that you're, like, bringing them up right. Like, you're raising them right. Like, you're doing the best parenting that you could do and teaching them all the right things so when they grow up and get in the real world they know right from wrong and they know because i am a strong believer in your parents can teach you the right thing all they want but it's up to you to go out and do the right thing you know what i'm saying i feel like some parents teach their children right and they still just go up and do the total opposite because of their surroundings or where they're brought up from or who they decide to hang around with and you know all that type of stuff so i just want to make sure i do my part in raising my daughter right and letting her know right from wrong and you know just being a good parent overall that's the hardest part because when you're young you just now figuring yourself out and so you have to figure yourself out while raising another human being so it could become hard sometimes and frustrating and you know, you can, it's just, it's hard. Your favorite artist. I like, I'm a lover girl. So I like, I like R&B music. I don't really like rap. I like some rap music, but I don't really like all of the rap music. I like, as far as female rappers, I like Cardi B. I like the City Girls. I like Megan Thee Stallion. I like some of Sweetie's. Sweetie music is hit or miss. Like, it's either going to be good or it's either going to be really just bad as hell. Um, I like the R&B. My favorite R&B artist is Tiana Taylor. I like Queen Naj. I like Janae Aiko. I like Summer Walker. I like Nicki Minaj. I like her as an artist, but as a person, I do not like her. I like Ella May. I like her. I love her. As far as male rappers, I like Moneybag Yo, Lil Durk. Lil Durk is my favorite male rapper. I like some of Young Boy, not all of it. Don't tell my husband. I feel like I'm forced to like Young Boy because my husband listens to him 24-7. So I know his music because my husband just blasts it in the house. I was forced to like him. So, yeah. Favorite color. My favorite color is orange. I tend to draw towards pink. So I would say orange and pink. But... My overall favorite color is orange. Even though I would pick pink things over orange things sometimes. Orange is my favorite color. I said what I said. Y'all can't tell me pink my favorite color. I said it was orange. So, hey. Okay. It's orange. Favorite movie. My favorite movie is Dream Girls. Know the movie front, back, side to side. I can sing you all the songs. I can play all the characters part. I can be Jamie Foxx, Jennifer Hudson, Beyonce, Eddie Murphy. I can be Anybody in the movie you want me to be. Y'all want to do a Dream Girls play? You just need me. I can play everybody. I can play everybody. I love Dream Girls. When I used to live with my mama, you know how you go in Walmart and they have the box, the bin with the $5 movies in it? Dream Girls used to be in it all the time. And I used to play Dream Girls so much in the house. They used to be so mad at me for singing and talking the whole movie. They would break my DVDs, y'all. They would literally break my DVDs. So you know, I must have been getting on their nerves. You must know I must have been 
singing that movie and playing it too much. That's my favorite movie of all time. Dream Girls. Don't play with me. Play with your mama. Dream Girls. What do you do in your spare time? In my spare time, I like to, you know, plant flowers in the garden. <laughs> Just playing. In my spare time, I like to, sometimes I read a book. I like, like, drama books. Um, My Apple books. I got books. I like to binge watch TV shows. I like to, like to watch YouTube videos. I like to do my makeup. What do you consider to be a romantic while in a relationship? Um, I consider like, I would consider date nights to be romantic. Just romantic gestures. Bring, pick me a flower on the side of the road and bring it in the house. Like, that would make me feel so freaking love. Or sometimes my husband, he like just rubs my feet for no reason. Or just tell me you love me. Just do nice things without me telling you to do nice things. Just do nice things not because it's a holiday or it's my birthday. Just do them like just because. Or like sometimes my husband, he will go to the store on his way from work and he'll like buy me my favorite bag of chips or he'll order me my favorite ice cream. You know, stuff like that is romantic. And you can't like base romantic. Like I had trouble with this at first, like basing my... Like, basing being romantic off of what I saw on social media. You got to understand, like, what's your spouse's definition of romantic or how, not definition or how your spouse show how they can be romantic, if that makes sense. How your, how your spouse, dem, spouse demonstrates being romantic. Because it's not always... Um, bouquets of flowers and roses and Louis Vuitton bags and gifts. They might think being romantic is rubbing your feet, which is, you know? So, you gotta keep that in mind. Do you regret getting married young? I feel like I get this question a lot, and I said that I was gonna answer it in a YouTube video, so I will answer that question in a YouTube video. Well, I will answer it now, and I will further explain it in a YouTube video. No, I do not regret being married young. I love my husband. I love my family. So, no. What motivated you to start YouTube? Um, I always just watch YouTube, and... I'm always recording myself and recording things and taking pictures. So I just felt like, hey, why can't I do YouTube? I'm always watching YouTube and I watch vloggers and I just felt like, like, hey, I think I would enjoy doing this. And hey, I feel like I can do it. It would be something that would be easy and natural for me because I like the camera and I like to make videos and I like to talk to people. And I feel like I'll be a great influencer and stuff like that so i just felt like youtube would be a great thing for me to do on the side while i figure out what i want to be in life and while i have a job and i feel like as i keep growing and growing and growing i'll eventually become big million million subscriber status baby and make it my full-time job because i feel like it's something that i would really really enjoy so yeah Okay, all right, we are almost done, honey. I'm gonna line my lips. Oh. Okay, last question. Are you happy? I thought, like, when I first seen that question, I was like, what do you mean, am I happy? But I thought more into it, and I'm just like, that's a good question. Because... As a young adult in your 20s, you feel like, you know, you're not doing life right or you should be doing more in life and it makes you get into the sad, depressed stage. And I just feel like, and I just feel like in your 20s, you shouldn't have it all figured out. You know what I'm saying? In your 20s, you should be living life, enjoying life, and... You shouldn't be worrying about trying to be perfect or trying to, you know, do all this stuff. You should just be worrying about living your best life in your 20s. 
it's not expected for you to have it all figured out in your 20s. Like 20 year olds of our generation think. You know what I'm saying? 20 year olds in our generation think you should have houses and lots of cars. and No, baby. Live your life. Live your life. Okay? Sometimes I'll fall in a, that kind of depression and it will make me unhappy. But then I realize, you know, you don't have to have it all figured out at the age of 20. And I stop being fucking depressed about it. You know what I'm saying? So, I stopped worrying about it. And I just started living my life. Having fun. And I've been happy ever since. So, that's my questions for today. If you guys like my videos, let me know. Like... Comment down below and let me know what you like about me. Do you like my person, Natalie? What do you like about my videos? And I do not mind. Like, I want to make videos every week for you guys. So, I need video ideas. Okay? So, comment down below what videos you want to see from me. You want to see makeup videos? Comment down below if you want to see um, more detailed makeup tutorial. Of this makeup look that I just create it comment down below and let me know and i will do a makeup tutorial everyday makeup look tutorial like your wish is my command i'm a genie i'll grant your every wish okay all you gotta do is let me know closed mouths don't get fed okay so just let me know and i will get those out for you guys Period. Okay. This is what the makeup look is given. Mm. Cute. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. And the girls is popping today. Don't play with her. Mm. This is so cute. This is my completed makeup look for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys like my makeup look. And I, and I hope I answered each and every one of you guys' questions. Make sure you like, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, love, and happiness. Bye.